Hi there, my name is Vinod. I'm going to explain you today the results of cache behavior in Informatica data services. Our agenda for the video today is the description of the results at cache, how the results at cache works, the list of the data services objects which you can make use of the results at cache, configuration of the results at cache, and then a demo to make sure the results at cache is enabled and how to verify the log files to make sure the results at cache is populated correctly. The results at caching enables the data integration service to use the cache results of the SQL data service queries and the web service request. Users that run the identical queries within a short period of time can make use of this results at cache to decrease the runtime of those SQL queries. That's the main purpose of the results at caching. The SQL data service and the web service request can make use of the results at caching. Now I will show you how to configure the results at caching in Informatica data services. This is the Informatica administrator tool. I have already created an application, SQL data services and everything. Now I'm gonna show you how to configure the results at cache here. So just click on the data integration service and if you go to the properties tab, um, there, is, there is an option of the results at cache. Here you go. So you can actually prefix the file name of the cache file with whatever you want. By, the, by, by default, it would be RS cache. And then you can actually enable the encryption as well to make sure the cache files are encrypted. And then you got to go to the processes tab of the data integration service to configure the additional properties of the result set cache. The first one is the maximum total disk size of the cache and then maximum per cache memory size the maximum total memory size and the maximum number of cache that is allowed for this instant of the data integration service. When the Informatica is creating the results at cache, we actually try to store in the memory. So if, if the memory is not available, so we spill the data to the disks. You can actually see a cache file is getting created on the Informatica backend directory, which I'll show you in the demo. Since I've already created a SQL data service, I will show you how, how to enable the results at cache and run it. So this is the sample SQL data service which I've created for the testing. So um, there is one more property called results at cache expiration period, which is a pretty important property because as soon as the Informatica creates the results at cache, the users can make use of it. But how long is the refresh experience being uh, enabled by this property? So this is the expiration period. After this, what happens is like if you run the user runs the same query against the SQL data services, Informatica will create a new cache files. So this is the refresh period for the results at cache and it is in milliseconds. And this has to be um, uh, changed at the SQL data service level. Uh, this is the Toad uh, data point tool. This is the ODBC client, which I've configured to talk to the data, SQL data services. I'm going to run a query, simple query against the SQL data service and I'll show you uh, the results that cache is getting populated. So this is the uh, select query which I'm going to run against the virtual table. So uh, you can see as soon as I run the query, the record is being pulled up. We can actually go to the monitoring tab as soon as I run this query, we can actually go to the monitoring tab to take a look at the request which is running and I'll show you how the results at cache is getting populated for this query result. So this is the active query which is being run and I'm going to fetch the log file of it. Actually this is not a good option I'm going to show you from the Informatica Unix tool. So all the SQL data services log file will be stored in a directory called uh, Tomcat bin DAS logs on the SQL. So I'm going to get the latest log file which I'm running right now. So this is the one. And when I click on it, I'm able to see the data in it. So you'll have to look for the message like this. If the results at caching is enabled, you would see this message saying for the first time, if any user is running the query against the virtual table or the SQL data services, you, so you would see this particular message. The results at cache is now in the state of populating. That means Informatica is creating the cache file. 
So now I will show you where is the cache file that is being created. And this is the directory where the Informatica results at cache will be stored in the disk. So this is the directory tomcat bin dis temp and the dis name and the node name. So here we can see the cache is getting created actively. Uh, please note if, if, if Informatica cannot store the cache results in memory, we are going to spill it to the disk and you would see a results at cache file created on the disk. Now the query seems to be completed and it has read about 2 million rows and the results at cache is populated with complete data. So now I'm going to run the same query again to make sure the results at cache is getting utilized by this request. So I'm going to run this query again. So we'll have to go to the back end and check the log file, how the data is being read, whether it's from the result set cache or from the actual data. So this is the confirmation that the no more result set cache files are getting created. And this is the log file, which is being created for the second request. So we have run the second request, which is identical to the first one. So when I run, I'm sorry, when I open this log file, you can see here, that is a pretty clear message, which is saying the second request is reading the data from the results at cache and it's not executing the mapping again. So, so we made sure the second request is reading the data from the results at cache. And this is a symptom that you would see from the log file that the results at cache is working for the subsequent requests. And one of the important thing in configuring the result set cache is to set the value properly for the result set cache expiration period. So if, if the value is set too low, then what happens is like every time you run the query, uh, probably for each run, uh, it's going to create a cache file. So you'll have to set the value according to the requirement from your side. I'm, I'm done with explaining the result set cache behavior. So if you have any feedback, please email us at supportvideos at informatica.com and tweet us at https twitter.com info support. Thank you very much for listening. Have a wonderful day.